Raven, thanks so much as you're waking up and starting your morning commute. Thankfully, we're accident free in our interstate systems. We did have one earlier surface street crash near the intersection of South Claiborne and Eagle Street, but thankfully that is since cleared. Let's travel outside together, dealing with a lot of wet roads out there. Here's a look at our camera I-10 or power. Starting to see that normal stacking both east and westbound as you make your approach to the power curve there, but thankfully still accident free. Let's take a quick look at the map starting over on the west bank. It looks as though we just had an icon pop up, and that is actually what I just told you about. So that will be say South Claiborne and Eagle Street right along this street. So just keep in mind that icon is still on the map, so we may be dealing with some residual delays. As you travel between Lafayette and the Iton Merge, consistently about a nine-minute ride. No major issues for you near our Crescent City Connection Tower Cam. Up and over the high-rise, it's a 13-minute ride between Reed and the Claiborne Flyer. And here's a live look at our camera near Chef. But again, the icon on the map that popped up will be South Claiborne and Eagle Street. So if you're traveling through that area, just give yourself a little bit of extra time. Daryl. All right, Deja, thank you so much. Raven, thanks so much at 618. Let's get a check of your traffic. Still accident and breakdown free, but start to see some more congestion building in our usual spot, but thankfully no major hiccups. Here is a look at our camera near the Crescent City connection with those wet roads. Of course, be mindful of standing water entering and exiting those roadways and just factor in some extra time today as there will be some extra congestion. Let's go ahead and get a look at some of your live drive times. Eastbound on 10 between Laplace and Kenner is an 11 minute ride about 33 minutes right now westbound on 10 as you travel between Slidell and the Superdome and about 16 minutes eastbound as you travel from Kenner to those downtown New Orleans exits. Misha to Chalmette is eight minutes in both directions, a seven minute ride between Kenner and Metairie. And if you're traveling northbound on the causeway, about 24 minutes. Do want to give you that heads up though. If your normal commute takes you along the Judge Seeper Bridge along North Claiborne, we know it was closed yesterday. That closure will remain in effect until about the end of business today. So hopefully it will reopen today but your best alternate will be the St. Cloud Avenue Bridge. Thank you. It was an action pack. Raven, thanks so much. Let's get you a check of your traffic. Still accident and breakdown free, so we are loving that this morning. But as we are dealing with those wet roads out there and the rain coming down, please give yourself a little bit of extra time. Here is a live look at our camera on the Crescent City Connection. You can see just how wet the roads are from this camera, but we are still seeing traffic flowing fairly freely, so good news there. Let's take a look at the map starting over on the Bonnie Carey Spillway, an 11-minute ride as you travel between Laplace and Kenner. About 16 minutes ahead from Kenner to the downtown area with just some minor patchy congestion as you travel eastbound from Loyola on your approach to Vets. From South Carrollton over to the Crescent City Connection, it's about a 9-10 to 10 minute ride, and we are starting to see some bulky congestion congestion building I-10 westbound. So it's a stop and go ride from Crowder on your approach to the upslope of the high rise. Things are minimal once you get there and then it's smooth sailing down to the Claiborne Flower. And like I mentioned, don't forget that the Judge Seaver Bridge along North Claiborne Avenue is shut down. It is expected to reopen at the end of business today. So St. Claude is going to be your best alternate and take a look at that red there. We're already seeing some congestion building as drivers are traveling across St. Claude. All right, Deja, thank you so much. All right, right. Raven, thanks so much. Well, we are seeing our first problem spot of the morning for drivers on the North Shore. I-12 westbound just past LA 445. We are seeing an accident, but it is off to the shoulder. Seeing some minor red there on the map, which indicates a little bit of stop and go traffic on the approach. Right now, only about four to five minutes through the backups there since it is off to the shoulder. Just remember to be vigilant on the approach. Otherwise, quiet across the rest of your North Shore artery. Slide out to the Superdome is a 36 minute ride. With some of you traffic from Crowder on your approach to the upslope of the high rise and then secondary delays between Orleans and the flyover. Near the flyover, we're seeing speeds coming in under 20 miles per hour. So just keep that in mind. We are seeing some slow moving traffic. As we travel from the West Bank, Lafayette to the I 10 merge is a 14 minute commute. And Kenner to downtown, you are in the clear. Still about a 16 to 17 minute ride. Our Raven, thanks so much. Well, the rain is impacting your commute, but thankfully not seeing any major issues. That earlier crash I told you about, I 12 westbound just past Highway 445 is off to the shoulder, not causing any road blockages, but we are seeing some congestion on the approach about seven minutes through the backups there. Set out to the Superdome, 38 minutes with slow moving traffic from Crowder on your approach to the upslope of the high rise. And we're seeing those secondary delays dissipating though between Orleans and the flyover. Lafayette to the I-10 merge, you're going to see a slow ride from General de Gaulle over to the Crescent City Connection past the Camp Street exit all the way over to that Earhart exit. Kenner to downtown is a 17 minute ride. Another look at the Crescent City Connection. We are looking not so great out there, so take it easy.